Hello city, welcome back to the channel. It's a girl Vermore and I'm back with another reaction video. Today I'm going to be reacting to the officer tattoo. If you don't see any of my reactions to these videos, click the link above and this is this is where Candace Owens is out at Daily Wire. Oh goodness. Alright guys, this is my first time checking this out and I can't wait to dive into it with you guys. But before we get started, we have some beautiful people watching us for the first time. If you are new to the channel, hello, I'm Vera. I do reaction videos. If you do something that you love, why not join Vera City? If you subscribe button below, turn on the post notification bell so that you can always be the first person to know whenever a new video drops. And that's guys, let's go. Guys, I'm going to be honest with you because everybody's noticing it. Every single political commentator in America, every single one of them knows this. That if you do not step out and say things that are radically pro-Israel, or if you are too quiet on certain narratives and they want you to be radically pro-Israel, you can lose everything. That's truth. That is a fact. I'm not, I'm not feeling like I need to hide from that anymore because, or be afraid to say it rather is a better way to say it, because I've endured this for years. I'm just at the end of my rope. I've, I have given so much rope here and I am just done with it. So what really happened? This video is brought to you by TatumStore.com. TatumStore.com makes sure you guys get the brand new merch. The the, the uh, Shady Bun shirt is going viral. It's going to sell out. So you better get it now. And I told people on another platform, and I'll honor it here. If you put, if you buy the Shady Bun shirt and you put book in the comment section on your order, I'll put a free one of my books into your bag. So you'll get a free Officer Tatum Beating Black and Blue book if you order. And, and this is only going to last for the next 24 hours. So you better order within 24 hours to get your free book and the merch. Like and subscribe to the channel. Y'all know what to do. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, I have to make a comment about Candace Owens and Daily Wire. Now, all of y'all know that Candace Owens is like my sister. So, of course, I text her. I'm going to let Candace Owens tell y'all what happened. That it, ain't, it, ain't, it ain't my my place to try to deduce what happened. Now, what I will say is that it wasn't a firing. Um, I love the way that you and Ben Shapiro are able to disagree, but then I guess still have a business relationship because I saw him recently tell you, well, this was, I think it was maybe a few months ago, he told you to quit <laughs> over, your, uh, over your Israel coverage, your, your Palestine-Israel coverage. Yeah. What was that about? Well, he told me, well, the, the tweet that he responded to was actually just some biblical passages. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he thought that it was me saying that I had to choose money over the day. I don't, I don't know how we interpret it, but it was, it was definitely not. I just meant it as like, you know, peace, calling for peace because, you know, there was a video circulating of him calling me a disgrace or in a faux professional or whatever yep. it was. And I decided to choose peace. And then when I chose peace, he responded to the peace with not, not peace. <laughs> so why wouldn't he just fire you? Well, as I explained on Tucker Carlson's show, like Ben doesn't have the power to fire me. They didn't just say, oh, we're going to fire Candace on. And she woke up one day like, oh, my God, I lost my job at Daily Wire. That's not what happened. All right. It was a mutual split. Now, mutual splits can go in five or six different ways. I, I, I would almost guarantee that in a situation where you have a high powered personality like Candace Owens bringing in millions of dollars and you have a big company like Daily Wire, there's going to be some negotiating. There ain't no, we don't like you, uh, free Palestine, or whatever. <laughs> I doubt they saying free Palestine, but you get what I'm saying, because everybody believes that the conflict is associated with that. So there, there is probably no, oh, we don't like you, we don't like what you said about Rabbi Shmuley or somebody, um, and we're going to just counsel you, because when you sign a contract in the real world, in the business world, and you just let somebody go without cause or, you, you know, you, 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 you're going to face lawsuits and all kind of stuff. So people normally come to an agreement and say, OK, I'll pay you this if you leave or you can keep this, do this, do this and maneuver. Um, and I think that's how it happened. But people are saying that Candace Owens got fired from Daily Wire because of the uh, the Israel-Palestine thing. Now, I, I personally, and I'm going to be honest with you, I didn't even ask Candace about that. I'm going to let her tell her story about it. I don't know if that's the the the, the cause, but if, if someone was to project, it would have seemed as if 
the conflict between Candace and, and uh, Ben Shapiro is the spearhead of what has happened, I, I would argue. Because it seems that, that everybody at Daily Wire loves Candace Owens. I think it's just her and Ben Shapiro seem to have a problem. And I love people at Cannon, at um, Daily Wire. I, I love the people at Daily Wire. I've never had a problem with Ben Shapiro. I disagree with, you know, kind of the way he handled the situation and him coming out against Candace at that at that meeting. I kind of felt as if it would have been more appropriate since they are coworkers and, and, and you know, she is assisting in building this crazy empire with him. They would just have a conversation about it. And not be something that's 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 said at a at a at a private meeting or something. Um, so, but other than that, I never had a problem with Ben. I never have a problem with Daily Wire. They always do things right. I mean, for the most part, it's a great company. They on top of their game. I mean, they're leading the industry. There ain't nobody doing it like Daily Wire. However, I, I do understand the perspective from Candace. Uh, to a certain degree, because she should be able to say what she want to say. And if she have an opinion that's unlikable by Jewish people, then that, then so be it. You know, my whole thing is this. I, I, I see things a little bit different than Candace to a certain degree on the Israel Palestine conflict. I will admit that I'm biased. I, I, I can see things with an open mind, but I am biased. I went to Israel. I'm a staunch Christian. And, 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 and so I have a little bit more grace for the Israeli people than the Palestinian Muslim people. I, I just do. It's just the way it is. If I had to pick one or the other, I would lean more towards Jew over um, the the um, Muslims. That's just, I'm just keeping it real. I could lie to you and say I'm in the middle or whatever. No, I, I think the land belonged to uh, Israel. I think it belonged to the Jews. I don't think it belonged to the Palestinians. And, 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 and regardless of none of that stuff, none of that matters, man. My whole thing is, with, with this is, they did, they flew over into Israel and did a terrorist attack and they killed all these innocent people. Over a thousand people died and they mutilated them. They beheaded them. They did all kind of stuff, man. And when you do stuff like that, you're going to take that L fast. If somebody flew into America, just say the cartel came into Texas and came into Arizona and start killing random people. What you think going to happen? Delta force will be having wet dreams thinking about what they're going to do to the cartel. Special forces, they can't wait. They're, they're, set, they're drooling at the mouth at how they're going to sweep almost the entire country clean. There will be no more cartel. If they were to do something like that in America, beheading people, putting it on camera, kidnapping people, hostages, Mexico would be no more. We would, we would, we would, we would annex the rest of Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just keeping it 100. So when I see what happened with Netanyahu and them, and I'm like, uh, I'm like, man, I get it, man. There's gonna be some, there's gonna be some casualties, unfortunately. But the, the at the at the end of the day, the job has to get done. But then I also understand the point of people get too super, like you can't say nothing about Jews, and I, I'm not, I'm not for that either. I think Jews are subject to criticism just like anybody else. And I think that if a person has an opinion about Jews, that doesn't make them them an evil villain. I think they just differ in the opinion that they have. I don't think that there's somehow a special thing going on that you can have an opinion and disagree with black people, but you can't disagree with Jews. I, I, I don't think that that's a thing. I, I think it should be a thing. But I think that people are after Candace Owens because she, I'm not trying to defend anything. I don't know everything she said. The stuff that I hear her say just seems like a difference of opinion. You know, she has more compassion than I do for the Palestinian people. I mean, I, I, I to this to this point, I don't wish that anybody get killed, and then I don't think the kids should be. But but at the same time, I I think Israel has to do what they have to do to protect their country, and, and that 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 will come at all costs. And these Palestinians are putting their kids in hospitals and putting them in front of places where they gonna get hurt. It's the Palestinians that are doing that. The people in Gaza, Hamas, they're doing that to their own people. Anyway, I'm not here to talk about all that. I'm just here to give my perspective. And I think that I do think that there's a little bit of unfair bias against Candace because she's entitled to have an opinion about things. And I don't I don't see why people get so butthurt about some of these things. She's entitled to have an opinion. And if she's wrong about her opinion, so what? People people can confront her, have a debate. You know, you'd you, you be like. I just don't get it, man. I just don't get it. I really don't, man. I think that there is a special treatment with Jewish people. But, you know, and then I can see why some Jewish people would probably 
be a little more sensitive to some of these things because anti-Semitism can be something that, that's conjured up off of the actions of a few Jews. Same thing with racism, same thing with sexism, same thing with everything in life. It, it can go that way if it get carried away, right? You see a couple Jews doing something and the real weirdness with, not weirdness, but the dichotomy with Jews is that there's ethnic and religious Jews, right? It's not one thing. It's not like, like I'm black. That's my, that's my ethnicity. Or you can say that's my race, but there's no religion called black. So if a person didn't like me, they don't like me because of my, it's very clear they don't like me because of my race. If they say they don't like my race, they can't then, it's not this conflu, confused, confused conundrum of, is this a religious thing or this is a ethnic thing? Is this a racial thing or religious? Because, you know, Hitler was a race thing. I mean, he wanted to purify the, the race of his people and he had to get rid of the Jews to do that. And of course there were some other stimulating things, but I think that the anti-Semitism there started from a couple Jews doing stuff they shouldn't be doing and, and, and Hitler feeling like he need to eradicate these this ideology from his country. And then it just blew out of proportion. I'm not saying he justified or right by none he did, but I'm just saying I think that's where it started. I think that a few were doing stuff that, that was against what they wanted in their country. That wasn't all the Jews. But what happened was, methodically, the anti-Semitism grew. That's, and and now the hatred of these Jews that were doing this became all Jews. And then all Jews need to be eradicated. They're all the same. We kill everybody and get rid of them. Instead of saying it's a faction of people who happen to be Jew or maybe because they're Jewish that they're doing certain things. And they are the problem. I'm saying if that's what they conjured up. It became everybody and not just a few. Um because I, I'm not under the impression that every single Jew was doing everything right 100%. I mean, I think there was a conflict there. And maybe some people were doing things that that, that was against what Hitler wanted. But it doesn't justify the craziness that, that occurred. But I'm just giving my feedback on what occurred. I don't want people to get misconstrued my words and say, well, Brandon is a board Hitler. I, I, no, I went to the Holocaust Museum. I said, I, you know, I don't know all the details and I'm skeptical of some details because I'm skeptical of everybody's details. Even with the civil rights movement, right, uh, slavery. I mean, they always seen a lot of us about something. There's something in there that they don't want you to know. And that don't make the person right or wrong. It, it just that there's the information that people have a vested interest in leaving out because they want to make their side look better. So I, I don't, you know, I don't know all the details, but I do know that it was horrible what happened and, and, and there's no justification for it. It's just pure hatred and evilness that I think that was Joseph Stalin and, and Hitler and some of these other people, just evilness and hatred. It's, it's Mao and they, they cut from the same, all these people cut from the same cloth. Um, but anyway, um, moving past that, I think anti-Semitism can, can really go in a, in a certain direction. Uh, when when it's a person who is manipulating the, the music industry and the person is a Jew, it's like, you know, people got to compartmentalize and say, is it is the person doing it because they're a Jew, ethnically, religiously, or the person is just doing it and they happen to be a Jew? These are the things that people should compartmentalize and consider, but I, I can see how anti-Semitism can go out of the roof. Because if you got it in your mind that it's a Jew, and okay, and the Jew is doing this, and the, and the Jew is, is, is stealing money, and the Jew is conning people, and the Jews are together on socialism and communism, and it's like, but you, you, that can get out of control. Because then everybody will view every Jew like they did in, in Germany as a, as a bad person. Not differentiating the difference between a Jew who's religious, a Jew who's ethnic, and a person who's bad and just happen to be a Jew. <laughs> you know, just like black people. All black people are bad. All black people, because you see a bunch of thugs out here acting a fool. It's like, you know, you got to compartmentalize. It's not, it's some of these people are just evil and they just so happen to be black. Just like evil people just so happen to be white, Jewish. Evil people that just so happen to be Christian or Muslim. It, it's not just because you're a Muslim, you're evil. Because you're a Christian, you're evil. So the compartmentalization of it is, I think, is important. But that, that's not here, no there. I just wanted to give my feedback about Candace Owens. I think she, I should have said this at the beginning of the video. I think she's going to be just fine. Candace is a rock star. She can. I kind of think the loss was greater on their part than her part. I mean, I don't know the financials. I don't know what deals they had. But Candace Owens is an up and coming rock star. Like, she is bigger. Her name, her reputation is bigger than anybody on Daily Wire. And 
So I don't think she's losing by separating her relationship. I don't think she looked bad in this situation. I really do think that the Daily Wire don't look as good, even though it's a mutual split. I think that people, the rumor mill and what people are thinking in their mind is that Daily Wire made a big mistake. Daily Wire counseled her because of her views, which is suppression of speech. That's what a lot of people are going to think. So I think Candace is not looking bad in this, in my opinion, to the general public. It, it seemed like this may be a black eye for Daily Wire. Um, and like I said, I'm, I, I'm not, I don't know what the contract discussion was. I don't know what the mutual separation was. I don't know if it was amicable or not, to be honest. Um, that's up to Candace to, to put out online. But, you know, at the end of the day, I, I really do think Candace going to be just fine. I mean, she five, six, seven steps ahead of everybody, everything she do. I think she already got a contingency plan set up knowing that this was going to happen at some point. Maybe she wanted it to happen. I don't know. But I think she's going to be fine. And, and, of course, I support Candace Owens. And, 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 again, I'm biased. Candace is like my sister. So I'm right or die, right or wrong. Uh, you know, I support Candace. And when I say right or wrong, I'm, I mean, if, if people disagree with her, if she made a mistake somewhere, if she misspoke somehow, I don't. It, that ain't they ain't going to make me change anything about how I think about Candace on. She could be wrong as two left shoes. She's still my sister. I call on the phone. Hey, Hey, I don't, Hey, I don't think you're right about that. Before I'd be like, Oh, I'm, I'm disowning Candace. Cause she said something that was that I disagree with. And that's not how family work, man. Candace is like my sister. And so I'm riding to die, you know, right or wrong. I'm with you right or wrong. I don't believe in switching. That's just, that's how I feel. I don't know about y'all, but that's how I feel. You know, anyway, I'll see you guys on the next one. I got to get out here. I got to get to the radio show. Hopefully, there's not a lot of traffic. Peace. Um, <clears throat> that was a lot. I feel like there's so much tribalism going on in America. And I love how genuine Officer Tatum is. Like, he's always so strict to the point and strict. Oh, our time is really fast spent. What do you guys think about this video? Drop your comment down below. Do you agree with Candace and Officer Tantum? What do you think about this video? Share your thoughts, share your comment. I'd love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a huge thumbs up and please share this video. And if you're new to the channel, join Vera City. Hit the subscribe button below, turn on the post notification bell so that you can always be the first person to know whenever a new video drops. And that's guys. See you in the next one. Bye bye.